the first baseman, Jason Giambi. What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, this is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new Nintendo 64 review for you today. I was thinking to myself, with the 2021 baseball season now officially underway, let's travel back to 1997 to take a look at Major League Baseball featuring Kid Griffey Jr., a sports title on the Nintendo 64. This game was developed by Angel Studios and published by Nintendo with a North American release date of May 1998. Upon its release, Major League Baseball, featuring Ken Griffey Jr., which I will now just refer to as MLB, was seen as a faster, more arcade-like sports title than some of its competitors or, at the time, contemporaries. When you fire this game up, you'll have four modes from which you can choose from. They are Exhibition, which can be played in two-player verses, you can start or create a regular season or draft season by picking a team or drafting your own team. And you can choose how long you want the season to be with a pennant race mid or full and facing up to 20 to 30 teams. You can choose the World Series mode, which is a best of seven, or lastly, the Home Run Derby. The Home Run Derby is by far best played head-to-head -head with a friend. All 30 teams and stadiums, along with the 1997 rosters, are all here, and it's absolutely awesome. As you can see in this gameplay footage here, I made a draft team, and then traded for a bunch of really good players. Each offensive player when they're batting is graded on five categories batting which is how big their circle or area is so that they can hit the ball power how far they can hit the ball speed how fast they run when they're on the base paths their arm which is how strong they can throw the ball when they're on the defense and then also defense pitchers are similarly graded in three categories they are control, stamina, and speed. Every pitcher has two base pitches that they all have. They are fastball, which is mapped to the A button, and changeup, which is mapped to the Z and A button. And there's also two specialty pitches that each pitcher has. One with the B button and one with the Z and B button. The controls for this game are very fairly simple and allow for a nice easy pick up and play. When you start this game you can choose which type of control you would prefer, be it the classic arcade, which is what you can see here, or just the classic mode, which gives you that little circle or reticle. <clears throat> when you're on the base paths or you need to throw a ball to a specific base, those are all mapped with the C button. When you're batting, you use the A button, and if you'd prefer to bunt, you can use the B button. Out. One of the really nice things about this game is actually the sound design. To create a bit of a pun, Angel Studios really knocked it out of the park with all the sound effects. There's some nice crack of the bat, or roar of the crowd, or even fireworks if you're in a home game and you hit a home run. The only real downside that I can find of this game is just the absolute dull and uninspiring look of some of these crowds and stadiums. I mean, they're just so bland and lack any real detail. There's been times where I'm playing this where sometimes just whole sections of the crowd will just vanish or turn green? What? I don't know, it's bizarre. Also, the player character sprites lack any real detail or definition as well. However, in regards to the characters themselves, 
Most of the batters have a different batting style. Some use a wooden bat, some crouch, some stand tall, some use a metal bat, so that's kind of nice. At least it adds a little bit of variety. Now, overall, is Major League Baseball featuring Ken Griffey Jr. worth adding or playing to your collection? Well, if you're looking for a fun pick-up-and-play arcade-style sports title, or maybe more specifically a baseball title, then yes, absolutely. I'd say add this one to your collection and give it a try. It's definitely a game that's easy to pick up, but very difficult to master. And... Considering everything else, it's actually stayed a very cheap title. I've seen it plenty of times out in the wild, between 6 to $10. So, thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this review, please like, comment, share. If you're not already, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.